we'll take this ship safely to sea with the help of First Mate Kobe. Big blue sea, oh, the big blue sea. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Huh? Where did this come from? Our sand castle is going to look amazing, Sophie. Yep. Hey, what's this? Our castle isn't ready for a princess yet. All hands on deck! Land ho! Whoa! Huh? There's no ogres in the ocean. A princess carriage? A fairy tale prince? And then the fairy godmother said to the frog prince, What is your first wish? I wish you wouldn't throw your trash all over the yard. Trash? What trash? This trash. It's not trash, silly. It's my story. But you shouldn't just throw your papers on the ground, Mia. No problem. I can always draw more. Ahoy, mate! Who wants to go on a sailing ship adventure with Captain Eddie? Ooh, I do, I do, I do! Wait, Mia, shouldn't you pick up your papers first? It won't hurt anything to leave them. I can pick them up later. Hmm, okay. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. on the open sea where you can see for miles. Whoa! 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 Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Captain Eddie, what happened? What made the ship rock like that? A whale? An octopus? A sea monster? A coconut shell. Huh? huh? It knocked my hand over my eyes. Where did it come from? Greetings, shipmates. I baked a special treat for you today. Coconut surprise. Yeah. I'll bring you up a plate full, Captain Eddie. Thanks, Mia. All right. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Those are the leftovers from making this treat. <laughs> Now you see them. Now you don't. <gasps> you just threw them in the ocean. Eh, a few coconut shells won't hurt anything. Aw, cute. Mm. That whale's having fun playing with that shell. I don't think he's playing. That shell could block his blowhole. Oh, that would not be fun. <laughs> okay, mates, come and get it. Coming! Wait, I almost forgot my special coconut tree topping. <laughs> A bit of banana makes this tree extra appealing. <laughs> Whoa. I'll just put some on top, and it's chow time. Yum! This one's for Captain Eddie. Ooh, what an adorable hat. Dolphins don't wear hats. 
Pat's meal. He's right. That's garbage on her head. Sorry. There's garbage in the water, too. I have to steer around it. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. I forgot the party hats. <sighs> Hold on, everyone. Whoa! Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Mike, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Just made a little mess. It won't hurt anything. We should clean it up. No problem. I'm on it. Sweet, 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 sweet. Don't need this one. No, 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 stop! Ta-da! There! The deck is all clean. But the water is all dirty. That's okay. That won't bother anyone. Oh, it's bothering this octopus. He's got trash on his legs, and it's hard for him to swim. I think our trash is bothering all of these animals. Ooh, you think so? Scientific fact, trash in the ocean is not good for sea creatures. isn't good for land creatures either. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! There's so much stuff in the water. Our ship can't move. We're stuck. Stuck? No! That can't be. My mom wants me home before supper. <laughs> uh oh, ah. Uh. So, I guess being careless with trash is a problem. For everyone. Yeah. When you toss your trash onto the ground or throw it in the sea, it can cause a lot of problems, so treat trash more carefully. It makes a place look messy, and it's not good for your friends. Put trash into a trash can, make the world look great again. If we clean up our messes every day, if we clean up and do it right away, if we clean up and don't just walk away, the world will be a better place to live and play. messes every day. Ah. Yes, let's clean up and do it right away. Ah. If we clean up and don't just walk away, ah. the world will be a better place where we can live and play. The world will be a better place to live and play. One. No problem. Do do do. Ah. Yes, that one isn't going to bother anyone. And I'll be home for supper. Yay! Yay! Awesome. Yeah! We did it. Hello, welcome back. We finished our sand castle. Nice job! Awesome! Yeah, but it would look even better without these papers around it. Let me clean up my mess. I'll help! Me too! Let, Let me, me help. help! Hey! Whoa! Your story is really flying, Mia. Oh no! It's going to try and fly over the fence! Oh, there's still one 
some left. Come on, let's get it. Look, Lucky's happy. Yep, he sure is. <laughs> Sideways, Mia. <gasps> yes! I did it! Thanks, Sophie. Always ready to help. Oops. Now I need some help. <laughs> We're on it! Cool. Thanks. What's that sound? Someone's playing music! Yay! Woohoo! There's going to be a show today! A band is gonna play music and sing and everything! And Officer Becky's helping! She'll make sure people drive safely when they come to the show! Music makes me wanna sing! Hi! Hi, Officer Becky! Hi there! Police Officer Becky is the best. With her in charge, everyone at the show will be safe and have fun. Cool! <laughs> Someday, I'm gonna do a big show. Maybe Officer Becky will help me out, too. You should do a big show right now, Tessa. In the jungle! Yeah! We'll help you out! Yeah! Great idea! Yes, let's do it! Come on! Yay! All right! Woohoo! Cool! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. It's a whole bunch of Tessas. <laughs> Tessa T-shirts! And her music. Awesome. This is going to be an amazing show. <laughs> I love this. Thanks for getting me safely to the show, officers. It's easy to get lost in the jungle. Our pleasure, Miss Tessa. We'll be on duty the whole show. Making sure everyone has fun! This way to the Tessa Show parking! Drive slowly, please! Right this way! Thanks so much! <laughs> No honking, please. This is a perfect chance to remember our manners, so everyone has fun. Yeah. Okay. Single file, please. Thank you. Good, good, good. All right. Perfect. Nice work, Officer Sophie. Thanks. You too, Officer Kobe. Yes. your seat. Enjoy the show. Hello. The show will be starting soon. I can't wait for the show to start. <laughs> it has lights and dancers and costumes. It's Tessa style times 10. Perfect. I'm ready to go on. What? Oh. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Oh, you're welcome. Now, you're perfect. <laughs> Where are my dancers? They should have been here by now. <gasps> Careful! The light is slipping! Uh-oh! Uh Officers! Quick! That monkey needs help! Oh, oh, oh. Squawk! <laughs> squawk! Squawk! Whoa. Don't worry, Tessa. We're on it. Officer ready? I'll keep the crowd back. You help the monkey get down. Got it. Everybody, Whoa. step back, please. Ooh, ooh. Please step back, folks. Ready, monkey? Whoa. <laughs> and jump! <laughs> It's okay. I've got you. Don't worry. Huh? <laughs> ah! Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Officer Reddy. <laughs> huh? Come on, you two. We better move before those lights come down. Right, Officer Mia. Uh-oh. <laughs> the lights! They're broken. The show can't go on without the lights. Don't worry, Tessa. We'll fix it. But how? The show's supposed to start really soon. Well, we aren't sure yet. But we'll figure it out. Oh, thanks, guys. I know you will. You're the best friends a superstar could ever have. The show will go on. <laughs> oh, boy. So what do we do, Eddie? We figure it out. Everyone is safely parked and in their seats. It's showtime. Let's go backstage and see how Tessa is doing. Sure. What am I going to do? The show is supposed to start soon. <laughs> this will help. Hey. Oh. No, no, thank you. Is something wrong, Tessa? Oh, officers, everything is wrong. First, the lights broke, and now my dancers aren't here. I'm going to have to cancel the show. Maybe we can help, Tessa. How? We're not really sure yet, but we'll figure it out. You just go out there and do your show, Tessa style. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I see what you mean. What do we do now, Sophie? We figure it out. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Sometimes when it seems like you're alone and there's no light, suddenly friends are there to brighten up your night when friends walk in it makes me smile because i know we'll have a good time and if things don't go quite tessa style i know my friends are right behind friends are there when you need someone whether you're in trouble or you're happy
did to help me, guys. Always happy to do our duty, ma'am. Not just as police officers, but also as friends. Oh, hear that? The show is still going on. Let's watch. Let's go. Woohoo! Officer Becky still on duty. Becky has some cool moves. She's not the only one. See? <laughs> <laughs> Silly Lucky. <laughs> Music makes me want to sing. Friends are there if it's day or night. When things look dark, friends shine a light. <laughs> <laughs> She sent me a package in the mail. So maybe we'll come today. Oh, I hope it comes today. What's in it, Mia? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a horse. Horses are kind of big to be delivered by mail, Mia. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a pony. <gasps> I think it's the mail truck. It's not the mail truck? No. <sighs> Is that the mail truck? Nope. It's the recycling truck. Oh, I don't think the mail truck is ever going to get here. I know how you feel. One time I ordered a book about the rainforest. It felt like it took forever to get it. Yeah. I wish time would hurry up. We should go on an adventure. Maybe your package will be here when we get back. An adventure? Yeah, a mail carrier adventure in Fairytale Land. I bet they deliver a lot of great stuff there. Yes, let's do it, Kobe. But first, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Can't go to Fairytale Land without my tiara. <laughs> cool. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together, there's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. them get down from walls. Oh, and these bowls are for the three bears, for their porridge. <sighs> wow, someone must really be looking forward to getting that. It's for Fairy Godmother, Kobe. <gasps> it even has a wand. Wow. Here's a map for our deliveries, Mia. We'll start here, at the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. Um, do we have to deliver there first? It's the closest place. And I bet the Fairy Godmother really wants her new outfit. Yeah, but don't you think Humpty really wants his ladder? I mean, he's stuck on a wall. He could have a great fall. You might be right, Mia. Okay, let's deliver there first. Great. I'll ride back here. And make sure nothing gets broken. Okay. Oh, I wish we never had to deliver you. 
I wish I could just look at you forever. <sighs> We're here! Oh. Mm. I'll be right back. Hi! Princess Mia! How lovely to see you! Aw, thanks! We're delivering your new ladder. But how did you get up there if you didn't have a ladder? Well, I was picking apples with my friend the giant. Uh... Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Oh. Hi, giant! Hello! That's the giant up there. <clears throat> he accidentally grabbed my ladder a little too tightly. Oopsie! But can't he just pick you up and lift you down? Scientific fact, eggs crack when they're squeezed too tightly. This will help you get down. Thank you! You're, You're welcome. welcome. Goodbye! Bye. See you soon, I hope. Next stop, Fairy Godmother's Cottage. Just around the corner. Yet, I just want to keep you here with me a little bit longer. Wait! Let's deliver to the three bears next instead. But the cottage is closer, Mia. And the fairy godmother probably wishes we would hurry. Just like you wished the mail truck would hurry with your package. Yeah, but it's almost lunchtime. And the bears are getting new bowls for their porridge. And Papa Bear gets very grumpy when he has to wait for his lunch. And no one likes a grumpy bear. Maybe you're right. Okay, let's deliver to the bear family next. Yay! They're special temperature-controlled bowls. Your porridge will never be too hot or too cold again. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you order four bowls? There are only three of you. Hello? Bears? Yeah, it's me, Goldilocks. Got any porridge? That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mia, now it's on to the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. It's getting kind of late, Kobe. Maybe we should deliver the Fairy Godmother's outfit tomorrow. I know you love this Fairy Godmother's outfit, but she is going to love it too. Think of how you feel, waiting for your package from your aunt, and how excited you're going to be when it finally arrives. It will be amazing. I bet that's how Fairy Godmother feels too. Oh, I never thought of it like that. She's probably feeling the same as me right now. When you're deciding what to do, try to think if that was you, would it feel good or feel bad? Make you happy or feel sad? That's empathy. Remember how it feels. For her, it's hard to wait. Just like me, and that's not great. We should hurry to her place. Put a smile upon her face. That's empathy. Remember how it feels to you. Empathy. And that might be how she feels too. Beautiful. That makes my heart sparkle. 
I thought it would never get here. It would have been here sooner, but I was having a hard time letting it go. That's okay. I know how you must have felt. Of course, because you have empathy. Well, I also have a wand. Shall I test it out? Oh, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please! Ooh! Yay! Shiga digga do! Spin, spin, spin! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Yeah! Hi, guys! We're back! Hello! Mia! Mail carrier Ethan was just here! He delivered your package! Hooray! Cool! Thank you! Bye-bye! Mia, hurry and open it! Let's see! Yeah! Oh, what is it? <gasps> Homemade chocolate chip cookies! Ooh! Ooh. Ziga digga do! And there's enough to share! Cool! <laughs> Yummy! But first, I always feel good when someone says thank you, so... I'm going to make my aunt a thank you card. Hey, let's all make cards while we're eating the cookies. Yeah! yeah. Great idea, Eddie. Woohoo! Look at me! I'm in first place. Oh, not for long! <laughs> Excuse me, speedboat coming through. Vroom, vroom! Tessa, you knocked my sailing ship over. And your ship landed on my rowboat, Mia. Sorry, Kobe, but Tessa bumped into it. Sorry, Mia, but a speedboat needs lots of room so it can go really fast. Maybe we should find a ship that we can all play with together. Great idea, Sophie. We can play with... My rowboat! My speedboat! Those are too small. We should play with my big sailing ship. Your sailing ship is big, Mia, but I was thinking we could play on a really big ship. On a sailing ship adventure! Okay! Yeah! Awesome! Have a fun trip! Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Nothing better than sailing a big ship on the open sea. Whee! And since Eddie isn't here, I'll be the captain today. <laughs> Actually, I think Eddie wanted me to be captain today. Did Eddie really say that, Mia? Well, not exactly. But he always lets me be captain sometimes. Mia! Uh, this way! Uh, this way! Not that way, this way! I'm the captain! <sighs> Can I help? No, I've got this! Yes! Land ho! Uh oh! Better go steer the ship away from that island. Guys, stop! I'm Captain Mia. No, I am. Uh, someone better steer now, or we're gonna run into that island. I know how to do it. Let me steer. <sighs> I'm Captain. <sighs> no, I am. Guys, wait. Uh-oh. Abandoned ship! Hey, I thought I was 
is the captain. Okay, captain, what do you think we should do? Uh, uh... Abandon ship! <sighs> water, water. I need water. <coughs> I'm so thirsty. We just got here, Mia. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what do we do now? We need to get our ship back onto the ocean. But how? And where did Tessa go? I'm up here! I know how to get us off this island and back to sea! I just need to raise the sail so the wind can push it! Ugh. Looks like you need help, Tessa! No thanks! Captain Tessa can do it by her... did need a little help. We have to find a way to get our ship back in the water. Yeah, I do not want to be here when it starts to get dark. Me neither. A pretend fire won't give us very much light. At least we have all these delicious marshmallows to eat. Those aren't marshmallows, Mia. They're coconuts. They're pretend marshmallows. I'm going to roast my pretend marshmallow over our pretend fire. Okay. I just wish I was pretend hungry. <sighs> <gasps> what was that? Huh? Whoa. <laughs> Scientific fact. Things that roll are easier to move. Okay, but what are you going to do with those logs? I'm going to put the logs under our ship and roll it back out to sea. And then Captain Kobe will sail us back home. So, how are you going to get the logs under the ship, Captain Kobe? Oh, I didn't think about that. <sighs> May I have a pretend marshmallow, please? Come on! I can do this! Do you want some help, Mia? Uh, nope! I got this! As captain, I command you to move back into the water! Uh. I guess I'm just not strong enough to move it. And I'm not strong enough to get the logs underneath it so it can roll. And I wasn't strong enough to keep the sail up so the wind could push it out to sea. None of us can make the ship move by ourselves, but maybe we can make the ship move together. Okay, how? Well, if we all work together, we can try to push the ship onto Kobe's logs. Then we could all raise the sail, and the wind might be strong enough to help roll the ship back out to sea. Let's do it! Yes! One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. Three can work together. Four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. Win-win! Wind! 
<laughs> With special help from my new little buddy. Thank you. <laughs> it's an honor to be in charge of the best crew ever. Because we all work really well together as a team. All Yay! right! All hands on deck. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah! missed a really fun adventure. We landed on a desert island! And an elephant even gave us a push home. Sounds cool. Yeah, we've been having fun too. We're making a whole city out of sand. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Great job. Thanks, wanna help? Sure, I'll be the mayor leader person of the city. Oh, I mean, we can all work together to make Sand City the greatest city ever! Yay! Whee! Awesome! Let's do it! Nay! Yay, horsey! Get along, little doggies! Hee-ya! Doggies? That's a kitty and a zebra and a... No, partner! A doggie is a cowboy word for little cow! Oh! And we're pretending these guys are cows. So, get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tessa, want to be in our cowpoke posse? Yeah, we're rounding up little stuffies. I mean, doggies. Huh? Not doggies, Lucky. Doggies. See? <laughs> well... It looks like fun, but it's such a hot day. I just want to drink lemonade in the shade. Hey, guys. Anybody seen Kobe? He likes to run through the sprinkler with me when it's hot. Huh. I haven't seen him all day. <laughs> that almost sounds like music. That sounds pretty good, Kobe. Oh, hi, Sophie. I'm making up a new song, but I don't have all the notes down yet. That's okay. Keep playing. I want to hear the rest of it. I don't want anybody to hear me play till it's perfect. But you're so talented. Whatever you play will sound great. Well, I guess I can try. Ugh, that didn't sound right. I don't think I should play anymore. Sure you should. It sounded... Yee-haw! Me and Wrangler Mia just had a rip snorting idea. Who wants to go on a cowboy adventure with us? That sounds like fun. Yeah, I'll go too. <sighs> it's too hot to pretend we're cowboys on the dirty, dusty prairie. Hmm, not if we're snow cowboys. Now that sounds cool. Let's move. Dig a dig a do. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring some place new. Go near. Hey, hey, come out and play. 
it. Let's make a snow cactus. Yeah. <laughs> snow cactus. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. And here's our campfire. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Now all we need is a cowboy song. Hey, Kobe, how about that when you were playing on your harmonica? But I don't have my harmonica. No problem, buckaroo. Here you go. Oh, thanks. I'll try my best, but it might not sound very good. Oops, sorry. Sorry again. Keep going, Kobe. It's getting better. It sounds great, Kobe. I love it. Yeehaw! Wow, that sounded great, Kobe. Yeah, that was awesome. Even the little doggies liked it. I mean, little penguins. Penguins? What penguins? Did someone say penguins? Because I'm looking for my little guys. Hello, Mama Penguin. They were just here a minute ago, but then they left. Oh, where'd they go? Actually, ma'am, they skedaddled off all over the range. That's cowboy talk for. We don't know where they went. Mm, I told those little waddlers to be home before dark but sometimes they have so much fun they forget. Well, they did look like they were having a great time. They were so cute dancing to Kobe's music. They were dancing to my song? <laughs> yep, until you stopped. Then they headed for the hills. Oh, I've got to get them home before their bedtime. They have so much energy. Ma'am, I reckon me and my cowpoke posse could round up those strays. I found some tracks, and they're wet-footed, like baby penguins. But they go off in all different directions. Shucks, partners. We'll just split up into two groups. Mia, Mama Penguin, you come with me. And Tessa, Kobe, and I will follow these tracks. Yee-haw! Yee <laughs> something to make them come to us. <gasps> you mean like fishy treats? Come and get it! <laughs> All right, it worked! Come on, little penguin. Let's get you back to our campfire and your mom. Come to mommy, come on! Squawk, squawk. There's one. So cute. Oh, my baby. Come on, little fella. Let's herd you back to the corral. Great work, everybody. This is going to be a super snow corral. Yeah, this should keep that little guy from wandering. What? He's gone. Oh, no. Howdy, y'all. We got one. How'd you cowpokes do? We found a penguin baby, too. But by the time we finished our super cool snow corral, he sort of wandered off again. We'd better get the penguin we found into the corral. <gasps> Aww. Not again. Now how are we going to get them back before sundown? I don't know. My little flippity flappers have so much energy. <laughs> they sure do. You should have seen them dancing to Kobe's music. Mia's right. They did love Kobe's music. So maybe if you play some more, they'll come back to hear it. <gasps> yeah, yeah Kobe. Kobe, play some more. It'll sound great. Encore, encore. I don't know. I want to help, but what if I mess up the song again? Kobe. Your song doesn't have to be perfect for us to enjoy it. Well, it is a scientific fact that some animals like music, so... Okay, I'll try. 
Look, it's working! Keep playing, Kobe. You don't have to be perfect to dance or sing or play. Keep on trying and you'll get a little better every day. Just keep on working at it. Some notes may come out wrong. But that won't really matter. We all love to sing along. This is a hoedown! Yeehaw! Sounding good, Kobe! You don't have to be perfect to dance or sing or play. Keep on trying and you'll get a little better every day. Keep working! Keep playing! Keep at it and you'll get a little better every day. Keep at it and you'll get a little better every day. Thank you, Kobe. Your song really tuckered out my little waddlers. You're welcome. Aw, yep. Looks like they're ready to hit the hay. Come on, sleepyheads. Off to bed. I bet they'll sleep well tonight. Way to go, Kobe. You did it. Yee-haw! Yeah. I did too! <laughs> lucky, lucky, wait! Wait till you hear about our snow cowboy adventure. Kobe rounded up a herd of lost penguins <laughs> with his harmonica. I didn't think I could do it, but everyone told me to try. And you, you did, did it. it. Yeah. Play your tune for him, Kobe. Ziga digga doo. Here goes. <laughs> likes the music. Maybe he's part penguin. Waddle, waddle, squawk! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are here today so Miss Pinky can marry Mr. Lucky. Hey, where's Lucky's hat? I didn't want to wake him. <sighs> I promised Miss Pinky a fairy tale wedding, so Lucky needs a top hat. Okay. I think Lucky's having second thoughts. What happened? Miss Pinky wants a beautiful wedding, like in a fairy tale. But Lucky keeps leaving. Well, I don't think you can make someone get married if they don't want to. Maybe Lucky's just not ready yet. <sighs> hey, why don't we all go on a fairy tale adventure? And maybe when we come back, he'll be ready to marry. Cool! We can be brave knights. I'll be the princess. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Someone. Yeah, let's go! Good luck, knights! <laughs> Whoa! Is that a tiny castle? <gasps> oh, that makes my heart sparkle! <gasps> Whoa! A tower! Someone is stuck up there! How do you know that? 
Kobe. In a fairy tale, there's always someone stuck in a tower. Right! Knights to the rescue! Hello? Anyone up there? Yes, I'm here. Great news! We're here to rescue you from this terrible tower. I don't need rescuing. I'm just visiting a friend. But how will you get down? A braid? Fairy tale fact, every tower's got one. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So you don't need rescuing? Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Okay, see you later! Bye-bye! <gasps> it's beautiful. <laughs> <gasps> Hello, I'm Princess Mia. I'd love a bite of cheese, please. That was our cheese! It was delicious! <gasps> Princess Mia thanks you for sharing. I like to play a royal game after my snack. Don't you, your highness? <gasps> oh, dear! <laughs> oh, 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 you'd rather dance? Okay, I love to dance. I'll teach you. This is a special Princess Mia dance. Da di da di da di da da di da da di di da di da 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 There's a good boy! You're oh. such a good boy. Who's a good boy? Good boy? <laughs> this is my pet dragon, Torchy. We're playing fetch. <sighs> Everyone looks like they need saving, but no one really does. What kind of fairy tale land is this? Help! 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 Someone! Someone please save us! Goodness, is everything all right at the mouse castle? No, no, we need saving. Oh, that's wonderful. It is. Here are four brave knights just looking for someone to rescue. Ah, more giants! It's okay, we're not giants. But I can see how we'd look that way to you. All we want to do is help. Really? Yes, what have you got? An ogre? A, a troll? A witch? A rompy stompy giant princess! <laughs> da -da 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 -wee! You guys are doing great! La -di -da -di -da 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 Is that your rompy stompy giant? Mm hmm. Oh, hi, guys. I'm dancing with my new mouse friends. Come join in. <laughs> Mia, can you stop for a second, please? Oh, sure. It's just so much fun. Did you guys find someone to rescue? Actually, we did. Yeah! The mice in the castle are being attacked by a romping, stomping giant princess. <gasps> a giant princess? Where? Uh, it's you, Mia. Me? But I'm not a giant princess. I'm a little girl princess. To us, you're little. But to the mice... You're a giant! Goma, from down here, Eddie looks so big. That's how I must look to the mice. Like a giant princess. I'm 
so sorry, Your Highness. I never thought about how I must look to you. I didn't mean to scare you. If I was a little mouse, you'd all seem really tall. But if I grew to be your size, you wouldn't seem tall at all. From high up in a tower, you'd all seem really small. But if I came down to where you were, you wouldn't seem small at all. There's no one else who sees the world quite like me or you. The special way we see the world is called our point of view. Point of view. Point of view. I think cheese is great! Nine o'clock's my bedtime. To me, that's really late. Point of view, point of view. It makes me me and it makes you you. So when I'm loud, I'll think of you and you can think of me. And we'll never forget and never regret we see things differently. Now we have a chance to show my friends our dance. But there's nothing for you to fear, cause I'll be dancing over here! From now on, Princess Mia will always try to think about what her friends are seeing and feeling. Even Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Even Lucky. <sighs> and I think he's feeling like he doesn't want to get married today. <laughs> but I think Miss Pinky really wants a fairy tale wedding. So we need to find her a new groom. How about Mr. Bear? Ooh, would you like to get married today, Mr. Bear? Mm-hmm. Perfect. We are here today for a fairy tale wedding. Princess Mia declares that Miss Pinky and Mr. Bear will now be married forever and go off to fairy tale land where they will live happily ever at the end. <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah! That was a beautiful wedding! <laughs> yeah! What an awesome adventure, Eddie! Yeah, awesome! Steady Eddie is always ready to lead an adventure! Whew! That big adventure made me really tired. <laughs> well, not as tired as Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, guys? It's Sophie's turn to pick. I was thinking maybe... a picnic? Yeah. I love picnics. I am pretty hungry. Great. I'll go get the picnic basket. <laughs> a picnic doesn't sound like a very exciting adventure, does it, Lucky? <laughs> well, maybe it does to you, but everyone else really likes Eddie's adventures. Huh? But maybe I can make today's picnic a big Eddie kind of adventure. Thanks, Lucky. That's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> Looks like our picnic is ready. Great. I'm starving. Me too. Come on, we're going on. An awesomely amazing picnic. Awesomely amazing? Today we're going to the meadow. Uh, I mean, we're going to a restaurant. Huh? huh? No, wait. Fairytale land. The most exciting place ever for a picnic. Awesome! Cool. Yay! Dig a dig a do. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near. Hey, hey, come out and play. 
picnic adventure is about to begin. This is a great place, Sophie. I've had lots of picnics here. What? You've had lots of picnics here? Uh-huh. It's so nice and quiet. Well, this isn't exactly where we're going to have the picnic. What do you mean, Sophie? This place is too quiet for an awesomely amazing picnic. We're just here to... <laughs> Pick up LD, the dragon. He's going to help us toast the marshmallows, right, LD? Marshmallows? Yum! I love toasting marshmallows. Show them how it's done, LD. <laughs> Toasted to a perfect golden brown. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But if we aren't eating here, where are we eating? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Oh, what would Eddie do to make this picnic super awesome and amazing? <gasps> I know. Follow me, friends. We're going someplace where no one, not even Eddie, has had a picnic before. Huh? huh? Okay. Sounds fun. Isn't it awesome and amazing? Just like one of your adventures, Eddie. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Sophie. <sighs> cool? It's freezing. Yeah. <sighs> Are we gonna have a picnic in the snow? Um, no. We're gonna eat the snow. Snow cones, that is. Hi, Mr. Penguin. We'll have six snow cones to go. We'll have them for dessert someplace nice and warm. Scientific fact, snow cones melt when they get nice and warm. Uh, of course they do. That's why Mr. Penguin and his snow cone cart are coming along with us. <laughs> Off we go to the most awesomely amazing picnic adventure ever! Cool roar, Aldi. That was my tummy. <laughs> Can we please stop and eat now? I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm so hot. But we have to go somewhere exciting for a picnic. I know. Let's ride motorcycles to the marketplace! Huh? Uh, how about... We go to the farm! <sighs> we like it here. <laughs> okay, we'll eat here. It's just... I wanted today's picnic to be awesome and amazing. Hey! They have our picnic baskets. What should I do? What would Eddie do? Wants to go, but this is crazy. Stop! <laughs> now what do we do, Sophie? I don't know. What should we do, Eddie? Huh? You always know what to do on awesomely amazing adventures, so I've been trying to be just like you. Why do you want to be like me, Sophie? Everyone loves an Eddie adventure. My regular Sophie kind of picnic is never that exciting. We love your Sophie picnics. You always bring the best treats. And everything is just right. Yeah, perfect. Sophie style. You don't ever have to try to be like someone else. We like you just the way you are. 
Some like it hot. Some like it cold. Some like things quiet. Some like them bold. Whatever you like to say or do, it's always right when you're true to yourself. Cause you're the best you. Some like to fly high. Some like it on the ground. Some like things tidy. Some like to mess around. Whatever you So just remember, be true to yourself, cause you're the best you. Thanks, guys. It feels good to know that you like me, just the way I am. Of course. We sure do. Yay, Sophie! You are one of a kind. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. It sure would be nice if we could have one of those Sophie-licious picnics right now. But the monkeys took our food. Hmm. Well, then we'll have to fly over there and get it back. Can you give us a lift, LD? Sure. But I can only carry two of you. Are you ready for an adventure, Eddie? Steady Eddie is always ready, Sophie. Let's go. We need two snow cones, please. Thanks. Here we go. <laughs> hey, guys. <gasps> yeah. yeah! You did it, guys! Woohoo! Awesome! Follow me, everyone. I know the perfect place for a nice, quiet, relaxing picnic. <laughs> that picnic was awesomely amazing, Sophie. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for helping out, everyone. Next time, I'll just be myself. Trying to act like somebody else is too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. Yeah. Whose turn is it to pick what we do now? I think Lucky has the right idea. <laughs> yes! Cool! What is this strange activity? It's called hopscotch. <laughs> You must be an alien. Correct. One alien, two, two heads. Cool. Which is your favorite head? Question, Question does, does not, not compute. compute. They don't have a favorite. It's like having two legs. <laughs> <laughs> you like them both. Want to play? We thought you'd never ask. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop beep. beep. I spy with my little eye. Um, something really cute. Is it a pumpkin? Pumpkins aren't cute. They are if you carve them that way. <laughs> beep. Oh, oh boy. Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. Oh. Beep, boop. Oh, no. Alien down. Oh. <laughs> hey, you guys want to play hopscotch now? Sure. But I thought you liked playing I Spy with me. I do, but hopscotch with an alien is pretty awesome, too. Uh. Hello! Guys, it's Farmer Jed! Cool! Woohoo! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> Hi, Hi, Farmer, Farmer Jed! Jed. Uh. I'll bet he's on his way to set up for a harvest festival somewhere. What's a harvest festival? It's like a big party. With hay rides and pumpkins and games and artists and all kinds of stuff. Ooh, I'd love to go to a harvest festival someday. Me too. Yeah, sounds cool. I'd love to show my paintings there someday. Why wait? Let's all go to a harvest festival today. <gasps> Yay, let's do it. Harvest festival. Good idea. Have 
some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. to the Harvest Festival, folks! Biggest pumpkin in the world! Make your own apple cider! Rides, games, you name it! If you like fall, we got it all! Biggest pumpkin in the world? <gasps> Woohoo! Can I do my own painting here? <gasps> cool! Artists over that away! Woohoo! Apple cider! Hey, Rye! Woohoo! You want to help me make fresh butter out of milk? Sure, sounds fun! All right! Woohoo! Ooh, these leaves look so real! <gasps> look at this one, Emma! I love it! I love this one! <gasps> <laughs> You should do them like this, Emma. Emma? I've got it. I'm going to make a painting of the whole Harvest Festival. Everyone will love it. Yes! It'll be Emma amazing. <laughs> the cow gives the milk. Then we mix it around in this thing we call a churn. And before long, butter blocks. Later, we'll shape them into sticks, like you get at the store. You can shape the butter? Like the clay we play with? Yep, just like that. Hmm. 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 Farmer Kobe, I have an idea. May I have some butter blocks, please? Uh, sure. Take all you need. Thanks. And remember, careful not to let them get too warm. They might melt. Ooh, it looks beautiful, Emma. Thank you. It's going to be the biggest, best painting I ever made. <laughs> hey. Where is everyone going? Don't you want to see me finish my painting? <gasps> Emma, look at what Jack is making. What in the world is that, Jack? I'm making a sculpture, Emma. Part cow, part sheep, part horse, part turkey, and all butter. I call it the Big Beautiful Butter Beast. A butter beast? That's not a real thing. My painting is full of real things. You should all come over and see it. Right, Mia? Wow. Mia? Ahem. <clears throat> huh? Oh, right. Coming. I don't get it, Mia. Everyone said that they loved my painting, but now they're looking at Jack's silly, buttery sculpture thingy instead. I think it's cool, and I think your painting is awesome, too. <sighs> well, I'm not going to finish it. What? Why not? Because everyone likes Jack's butterific sculpture more than they like my M amazing painting. Even you. I love your painting, and I love Jack's Butter Beast. I love them both. That's okay, isn't it? Well, yeah, I never thought about it that way. 
But what about all those other people? I think they like them both, too. Everyone likes lots of things for the different kinds of fun they bring. You like lots of games to play and different foods, and that's okay. Hmm, really? Let's see. Like fall, and winter, summer, and spring. It's great to like a lot of things. It's great to like a lot of things. Everyone likes lots of things for the different kinds of fun they bring. You like lots of games to play and different foods and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so people can like Jack's Butter Beast and my Harvest Festival painting. People can like a lot of things. <laughs> yep. Oh no! What's happening? My big, beautiful butter beast is melting! What do I do? What do I do? We can't let my brother's awesome statue melt! Come on, Mia! We have to get help so we can save the butter beast! Save the butter beast! Save the butter beast! afraid maybe you wouldn't like my sculpture. I mean, it is sort of weird. Of course I like it, Jack. In fact, I love it. And I love my painting, too. I love them both. Your painting is Emma amazing. And your statue is butterific. They're different and both great in their own way. Yeah, that's right. It's great to like a lot of things. Right, Mia? Right. <laughs> oh, I like the pumpkin. I like the hayride. And the apple cider. <gasps> oh, let's do a play that has everything we liked about the festival in it. Sounds like fun. We can call the play, um, Jack and the Pumpkin Stock. Cool, there's a pumpkin in it. Double cool, there's a Jack in it. <laughs> There once was a giant who lived in a huge pumpkin with a goose that laid golden blocks of butter and his sister who loved to paint. This is going to be good. That sounds amazing. A frog in the forest was sitting on a stump. A squirrel came along and said, jump, jump, jump. Guys, look, it's ready. Cookie! It's oatmeal and big enough for everyone to share. But it's still too hot. We have to wait until it cools down a little. It's so hard to wait. We could jump rope some more, or we could play hide and seek instead. Yeah. I'm a bear. Oh. Run and hide. Oh, oh no, a bear. One, hide, hide. two, <laughs> three, four. Mm, that smells so good. Cinnamon? Ten. <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! Roar! Mm. Oatmeal and cinnamon. <laughs> and, <laughs> <you>. <laughs> mm. and raisins. Gotcha! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and vanilla. What else? <gasps> it's gone! Oh, no! I ate it all! Tessa! I see you! Got me. <laughs> Everyone is gonna be so mad at me. What am I gonna do? <sighs> I have to tell them. Found <gasps> you! I found everyone! Now it's time to eat the... <gasps> hey! Where's the cookie? Sophie, our cookie! Someone ate it! Who would do that? Um... I bet Lucky did it. No! He 
would never. Don't worry, everyone. Tessa and I will make another one. Come on, Tessa. <laughs> now we have to wait again. An adventure would make it easier. Yes, a forest adventure with squirrels and stuff. Let's go. Yay! No. <sighs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be any Situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Yay! Woohoo! Um, excuse me. I excuse me. <gasps> hmm? Hmm? Where's everyone going? <laughs> I'm Sheldon. Me and my friends are collecting acorns for the winter. Hey, guys, why don't we help them? Okay. Keep those acorns coming, team. When the meter reaches the top there, it means we've stashed enough acorns to last the winter. <sighs> And not a minute too soon. Winter's on its way. We'd like to help if we can. Sure. I'll go grab some acorns. But we don't have big cheeks to carry them in. See? Ah, I see your point. Uh, use these baskets instead. Great. All right. <laughs> Thank you! It's not right that Lucky got blamed for eating the cookie. I have to tell my friends it was me. But they'll be so mad at me. <laughs> Sheldon? Did all these acorns fall out of that little hole? Mm-hmm. And then you ate them? Yeah. We have to tell the others. <gasps> no! Please don't tell! Then everyone will know that I've been eating them, and they'll be mad at me! <gasps> I know! You and me can patch the hole up, and no one will know it was ever here. I don't know if we should. Please? Okay. Something's wrong. The meter is going down. That can't be right. Not with all the acorns we're putting in. I've got to fix this before winter comes, or we won't know if we've collected enough food. Oh, no. Maybe a rock fell out. we better go see. The acorns are all dropping out. We have to tell the others. Can't we just fix it? Pretty please? With acorns on top? <sighs> okay. We'll try to fix it. But if it doesn't work this time, you have to tell the truth. 
I've checked every dealy bob and gizmo who, and I can't find anything wrong with the meter. I don't know why it's going down, but I'll keep looking. Hey, you fixed it. It can't be. It's impossible. It can't fill itself. We have to keep working. The squirrels think the tree's filling up by itself. You have to tell the truth, Sheldon, or there won't be enough food for the winter. Mm, I know. I should have told the truth in the first place, but... Oh, everyone is going to be so mad at me. I know what you mean. I ate a big cookie and let our dog Lucky take the blame. I wish I told the truth in the first place, too. <sighs> Maybe we should both tell the truth now, together. And so I just want to say that I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling the truth, Sheldon. Next time, Mom, maybe do it a little sooner. Okay, team, back to work. I'm sorry, too, you guys. For what, Kobe? It was me who ate the giant cookie, not Lucky. What? You? Why didn't you tell us? I thought you wouldn't like me anymore. Well, of course we'd still like you. Friends know that friends make mistakes. Sometimes we do things wrong. We don't mean to, but we do. Mistakes are made by everyone. We're learning just like you. Tell the truth, it's good to do. Don't say things that are not true. Don't be scared, just take a breath. It's not that hard to do. Just tell the truth. Oh. Just tell the truth. Oh. For friends, for you, it's good to do. So tell the truth. If you do something wrong and you feel bad inside, it's best to tell someone. No need to run and hide. I'll tell the truth, it's good to do. I won't say things that are not true. I won't be scared, I'll take a breath. It's not that to do. Just tell the truth. Oh. Just tell the truth. Oh. For friends, for you, always be true. And you'll feel better when you do. So tell the truth. Yay! We did it! Awesome! Woohoo! Good job, everyone! The storage tree is filled to the brim. And just in time for winter. Just in time. Awesome! Dig a dig a do! <laughs> Snack time! A whole new cookie! Yup, and it's big enough for all of us to get a nice big piece. No thanks, Sophie. I've already had more than my share. What do you mean, Kobe? It was me who ate the first cookie, not Lucky. <laughs> I'm really sorry you were blamed for what I did. Do you forgive me, Lucky? <laughs> I'd say that was one big doggy. Yes! yes. <laughs> oh, good boy. Oh, thank you! Oh, thanks! Sorry, Eddie. No lucky seashell. But I did find this cool rock. Oh. Well, thanks for looking, Jack. Jack! Ah! Look at your hands! Why are you even digging in all that dirt? Jack and Tessa are helping me look for my lucky seashell. Eddie! I think I found it! This is it! Thanks, Tessa. Back where you belong. Eddie always puts his lucky seashell in that pocket. It brings him good luck. Well, I don't think it really brings him luck. It's just... Yes, it does. And I always keep it in this pocket. If you say so. So now can we go on our beach carnival adventure? The beach? I like the beach. Except for the sand. It gets in your hair and in your food. But maybe we'll find some more cool rocks and seashells and stuff, Emma. And you don't even have to go in the sand. We can stay at the carnival. That sounds like fun. Great, let's go. Woo! Imagination.
fiction You can be anyone In any situation Let's go on an adventure Exploring someplace new From near to far together There's so much we can do So hey, hey, come out and play We're going on an adventure today We're gonna have so much fun Step right up for a chance to win the best prizes on land or sea. <laughs> you there, you in the pink shoes. How'd you like the chance to win a big pink whale? Oh, that's um, amazing. I have to have it. What do I have to do? You start from way down there and win a small prize. Then trade the small prize for a bigger one. Then trade the bigger prize for the best prize of all. It's probably easy to win the small prizes, but it'd take a lot of luck to win this big one. But you're great at games, Emma. You are. Try it, Emma. OK, I'll try. You get three chances to throw a dart at the beach ball. Get just one dart to stick, and you win! Okay, here I go. Huh. Oh, phooey. Mm. <clears throat> this is harder than it looks. Keep trying, you'll get it. <sighs> Emma! Oh. There's a cool place to dig for treasure over there. That, that's great, Jack, but did you have to get so dirty? Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> One more turn, Emma. Oh, right. <gasps> Emma, you won. <laughs> yeah, you won. I won. Wow. I'm going to go try the next game. Good luck, Emma. Emma doesn't need luck, Jack. She just needed a little practice. Step right up to feed the clams. You get five chances to get three bean bags into the shells. By the way, you've got a little something on your nose there. <gasps> Is it dirt? No, don't! <gasps> you had dirt on your nose when you won the last game. It might be the thing that brought you good luck. I don't really believe in luck. And I really don't like being dirty. But I really, really want to win that pink whale. So maybe you're right. <clears throat> Silly, I knew the dirt wouldn't bring me luck, Eddie. Wait, you might have to put new dirt on your nose every time. More dirt? <sighs> okay, I'll try. Here I go. It worked. Putting new dirt on my nose worked. Thanks, Eddie. Only now, you've got dirt under your eyes, too. What? No. No, no, no don't. Oh. That's part of the luck now, too. You have to put dirt on your nose and under your eyes. <laughs> Why did it have to be dirt? Okay, I'm ready to throw again. Oh. Uh-oh. Good luck. Yes! yes Woohoo! I got two feed bags in. Only one more in and I win. Uh, I think you need to put cotton candy in your hair, too. What? Yuck! No. That's part uh, of the luck now. Gotcha. <gasps> I missed. Eddie was right. I need to put cotton candy in my hair. Emma, you only missed because Jack sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And we have a winner! I did it! I won! Yay! Uh-oh. What is it? Mm. <laughs> oh.
Step right up to the spinning octopus ring toss. Land one ring on each arm and win the grand prize. I can do this. lucky shell in your pocket? Huh. I guess not. Sometimes I win because I'm a good player, and sometimes I lose because I need more practice. That makes more sense. Practice and believe in you. That is all you have to do. Turn that frown into a grin. You don't need good luck to win. Just keep this trick right up your sleeve. All you helps you win. It's practice. And you've had lots of practice now. You can't win if you don't try. <sighs> I can do this. <laughs> Get set, go! Uh, Mia's off to a great start. <laughs> She's reached the bridge. She's down the slide. She spins three times. And she finishes in five fingers. Great job, Mia. Thank you. My turn. Okay, Eddie. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> go, Eddie, go! <laughs> Sorry, Kobe. I'm okay. We're playing Jack's Super Adventure Challenge game. Wanna play, Kobe? Um... Ooh, we should get everyone 
fun to play. Yeah! Come on, you guys. We're all going to play Jack's adventure game. Sounds like fun. Okay. Cool. But if we're all playing, we need a bigger place with bigger challenges. The, the jungle. jungle! Let's go! Yay! Woohoo! Uh, okay. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Today's game. I'm your host, Jumping Jack the Adventure Man. First, I'll divide you into teams of two. Team one, always ready Eddie and magnificent Mia. Yeah! Next, Team Emma, Amazing Emma and Tessa Style Tessa. Have fun. Our final team, Super Duper Sophie. Yes. And Can Do Kobe. The first adventure challenge is the Outrageous Ostrich Walk. One team member will walk the line, the other will stay on the ground to help. Both will walk like an ostrich. Wow. Awesome. This looks kind of hard, Sophie. What if I can't do it? That's why we're a team, Kobe. We'll do it together. We'll go first. Tessa does this all the time in our gymnastics class. So, I'll walk the line. Huh? But if Tessa knows how to do it, shouldn't she walk the line? I think Emma wants to challenge herself on this challenge. I can do this. Uh, uh. Woohoo! Yeah! Our turn! Okay! Squawk, squawk, squawk! <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, guys! You want to do it, Sophie? Sure. I've never done it before, but I'll try. Uh, oh. Whoa! whoa. <gasps> Whoopsie! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hooray! On to the next one! <laughs> I'm for the silly lily pad frog hop! Here to show us how it's done, is our good friend, Finnegan Frog! Wow, he can really jump! And ribbit, too. In this challenge, one team member will hop from silly pad to silly pad, landing with a... We'll go first! Ribbit! 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 A perfect performance by Eddie! Yeah! Good job! My turn! Ribbit! Ribbit! Wall! <gasps> oh. Come on, Team Emma Tessa! Ribbit! Great teamwork! With Emma's help, Tessa has completed the challenge! Yay! Go, Tessa! Go, Tessa! Yeah, Go, Tessa. Tessa! Okay, Kobe, your turn to try it. Me? Oh, my tummy is feeling kind of funny. Oh, dear. It's no fun playing when you have a tummy ache, Kobe. We can finish the game tomorrow if you're not feeling good. No, it's not that bad. I just don't think I should try jumping. Don't worry. Kobe will rib it while his partner Sophie takes the jumps. I can do that. Great, let's do it. Rib it. Uh. Rib it. Uh. Rib it. Yes! Nice, nice one, one, Sophie. Sophie. Yeah. Good rib 
rabbits too, Kobe. Oh, uh, thanks. Our last challenge! It's the High Climbing Super Slide Challenge! Come on! Yeah! I love slides! Looks like fun, huh, Kobe? Actually, my tummy does still feel a little funny. It's okay. We'll just watch. Here we go! Hooray! And the players begin the climb! Uh -oh. Tessa's having some trouble. But Ready Eddie's there to steady her. I can't get it. Mia can't quite reach. Wait, she's getting some help now. Tessa style! Thank you! Wow, they're all helping each other. They all made it to the top. Yeah! That was fun! Good job, everyone! You can make it to the top, too. If your tummy was okay. Do you think so? It might take a few tries, but I'm sure you could do it. Come on, let's watch him slide down. Here I come! <laughs> Sophie, I think I want to try it. I've never done it before, and I'm really nervous, but I want to try it. Yay, Kobe! It's so much fun. Yeah! Kobe, what about your tummy ache? Well, I think my tummy's just feeling nervous. Like it's filling up with butterflies. I get those. Sometimes it even feels like there's birds in there. Does it feel all flip-floppy? Uh-huh. That happens to me sometimes, too, when I'm trying something new. Mine gets all sloshy back and forth, like the ocean. Jumping Jack's Super Adventure Challenge makes everyone a little nervous sometimes. That's why we have teams to help each other with our flippy, floppy, sloshy butterfly tummies. I wish I had told you all how I was feeling before. Maybe I could have done the challenges. It's never too late to play this game, Kobe. Huh? We did challenges to get here. Now we do them again to get back home. Uh, Sophie, will you help me? Of course. Okay, here I go. If you are feeling nervous, trying something new, when your tummy's turning upside down, here's what you can do. Just have a friend beside you to catch you when you fall. With a hand to hold and a little help, you can do it all. Yay, Kobe! I got to get to A new thing can be scary if you've not done it before. Once you've gone and tried it, it's not new anymore. Just have a friend beside you to catch you when you fall. With a hand to hold and a little help, you can do it all. Have a friend beside you to catch you when you fall. <laughs> what an awesome game, Jack. Thanks. I've never hosted an adventure challenge before. Maybe someday I'll have my own adventure challenge game show. And Kobe can write the music for it. Write the music? That makes my stomach kind of flip-floppy. But if you guys will help me, I think I can do it. Hooray! Hooray! Just doing some spring cleaning up here. No problem! Vroom, 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 vroom. Come on, Lucky. You can do it. Come on! Oh. You told Lucky to stay. 
<laughs> yeah, he's good at that. Shh, I'm pretending I'm a farmer. Uh, by lying on the grass with a book on your face? The book says farmers get up early in the morning. So I'm pretending it's still dark out and I'm waiting for the rooster to crow. That's a funny sounding rooster. <gasps> That's not a rooster, Eddie. That's Farmer Jed. Being a farmer must be amazing. Yay! <laughs> they clean the barn. Feed the chickens. Take care of the sheep. <laughs> ride the tractor. Did you say ride the tractor? <gasps> oh, we should go on a farm adventure. And I know exactly how to do everything on a farm. I learned it from this great book. That sounds fun. Can I feed the chickens? Sure. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yippee! Awesome! Yay! Vroom, vroom! Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. Exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Cool. Let's go. Where's the tractor? Time to farm. farm. Where are the sheep? Wait, I have to teach you the right way to farming. Fun. Yeah. Be a farmer. <sighs> Hi, I'm Sophie. How is everyone today? I don't know your names, but if it's okay, I'm gonna call you Daisy and you Sunny and you Esmeralda and okay, Sophie. Here's how to feed the chickens. You fill a scoop of chicken food and scatter it so they can peck at it. Easy peasy. Have fun. Okay. A barn has to be clean and organized. Everything put away. In just the right spot. Great, we can do that. If the animals in the barn get in the way while you're cleaning, put them in their stalls, okay? Have fun! So you just drive through the fields and the tractor will pick the corn for you. In nice, neat, straight lines. Have fun! Okay. <laughs> When it's time to move the sheep to a new field, you just rattle the food in this bucket and they'll follow you anywhere. Whoa, that's a great trick. Uh-huh. So let them graze for a little bit longer, then use this trick to move them. Okay, now I'm gonna go pick some apples. Have fun! Hmm. Emma did say have fun. Nope, not ready to pick, not ripe, not ripe. Mm. <gasps> ripe! Mmm. It feels so good when everything's done by the book. Huh? Oh, no. You're supposed to be feeding them lunch. I am feeding. Huh? Yeah! <gasps> Why 
What is Eddie doing? I am feeding you lunch. I'm just doing it in my own fun way. Awesome! <laughs> Eddie, you're supposed to be collecting corn, not driving in circles and making a mess. Don't worry, Emma. The corn's all going into the wagon. And I'm not making a mess. I'm making a mess. What? I can't hear you. Oh, no. What's going on in the barn? <gasps> Mia, what in the world are you doing? I asked you to move the sheep, not dance with them. I'm doing both. See? When you showed me that trick with the bucket, I... Oh, Fooey! What now? Kobe, you were supposed to put the animals in the stalls when they got in the way. Why didn't anybody listen to me when I told them what to do? We are doing what you told us, Emma. We're cleaning the barn. And the animals aren't in the way. They're helping. Bernie's helping us lift hay bales into the loft. Show her, Bernie. Ta-da! Everyone's got a job. Thanks, guys. Huh, you're right. This place does look clean and organized. We did do what you asked us to do, Emma. We just did it, Tessa, and Kobe, and cow style. <laughs> oh no, the chickens. Sophie, they never got their lunch. They did get their lunch. It's a nice day. So I used the scoop to fill a bucket with chicken food, and we came out here. <laughs> it was fun. Are you sure they got enough to eat? Daisy, did you get enough to eat? <coughs> None of this is exactly how I asked them to do it. But I guess it's all working out okay. But what about Eddie and the corn? I caught all the corn in the wagon I was pulling, just like you asked me to. See? But I also made a maze for us to play in when we're done. You told me to have fun, so I did. And look! Mia's having fun, too! Yeah, she moved the sheep into a new field. She just did it in her own fun way. Yep. <laughs> If you've got something to get done, a friend can help you through. But the way they like to do it may not be the same as you. So we all do things by the book. But I do them test the stuff. I like to add a Sophie twist. Whatever makes you smile. People do things differently than other people do. The different ways Scientific fact that we all have our own way. People do things differently than other people do. The different way we do things is what makes us me and you. Me and you. Awesome! <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. You were all really great farmers today. And you got everything done in your own special way. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oops. Uh, we kind of left a mess here. I guess we better clean up. Okay, here's how we should do it. Uh, I mean, how do you guys want to do it? I'll pretend I'm a chicken and pick stuff up from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you mean... Heck, stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll collect the stuff in the wagon like I collected the corn. And I'll lead the way, just like I led the sheep. We'll make it a pickup parade. 
Well, I've never cleaned up this way before. But it looks like fun. 